Steve Mignani here for the Acid Auctioneer's Great Texas Mopar Horde Event Sale Auction. Mouthful and a half, but this is a car befitting of all those words. It's lot number 82, and this is a 1960 Chrysler Imperial Crown. Of course, the Crown is a two-door, beautiful body style. A little bit of rust seen here on this lower fender, but as these things go, that's pretty minimal. Gotta love this, the Imperial with the Crown logo below it. Missing a couple letters, but again, uh, pretty clean as these things go. The grill is in fantastic condition. Uh, minimal pitting on the chrome of this, but uh, bumper also present and accounted for. Under the hood, what do we find? Okay, there it is. The Chrysler 413 big block, single four barrel, power brakes, of course, there are drum brakes everywhere, power steering, kind of unusual, no air conditioning on this one. Again, that was an option. Uh, it was not standard equipment. Fenders look pretty good on this side. Yeah, this does not have the rust that was present on the opposite side. Crown letters are all here. Bottom of the door, the paint is flaking a bit, little bubbles there, but again, that's years away from blossoming, but it is there. Uh, lower rocker panel looks pretty good. Let's pop that door and look inside. And yeah, there's the uh, very much original unmolested instrument cluster, AM radio from the factory. The padded dashboard uh, shows a little bit of cracking. Again, the Texas sun is pretty brutal. It's amazing it looks that good. Uh, power bench seat up front. And again, this is a two-door. Keep that in mind. The vast majority of Imperials were four doors. They were luxury cars for the family. But this is a much more sporty, personal luxury two-door version. Okay, down low, the quarter panel looks very, very solid. Let me get my magnet out and see how it sticks. And look at that. There's no signs of plastic filler anywhere in here. That magnet wouldn't stick. Okay, a little bubble there, a little bit of stuff here. Yeah, somebody's wor worked on this a little bit through this area, but again, it looks like rust preventative paint's been applied. Quarter panels down low, yeah, a little bit of rot here, but again, there are extensions available to repair that. Okay, out at the back, nice to see the rear markers are here. The lenses are cracked, but they are present and functional. Uh, the trunk, I don't have a key for that, so we can open that, but this does have a very nice rear bumper. It looks pretty good. Paint, the, the chrome's flaking a little bit here, but that's okay. Again, these can be re-chromed or in a driver quality restoration, you might just leave that alone. Has the flight sweep uh, continental style deck lid. Kind of cool. A lot of people thought that looked like a toilet seat, <laughs> but again, an iconic touch in the late 50s, early 60s, full-size Mopar styling. Lower quarter here, a little bit of stuff kind of getting ready to come through, but that's you know a couple years away, but still, that would have to be addressed if you wanted this to be pristine. Quarters down here are very nice. See how the magnet sticks? It does. So nobody's been in here trying to hide rust or repair it. Very nice to see that. Take a peek inside again. Leather on that front uh, split bench seat. It looks to be in pretty darn good shape. That blue material is, of course, leather. Again, the instrument panel and cluster, all of that stuff looking very unmolested and original. Uh, this car would clean up very, very nicely. Front fender on this one, we saw earlier, a little bit of rust down low. Again, there are patch panels available. So that's the story of item number 82, a 1960 Chrysler Imperial two-door crown. These are very uncommon cars.